this is Jen from Over the Edge and today I'm going to show you how to surge beads on the fishing line using the rolled hem setting on your serger. First of all you want to take off your presser foot and ankle. Um, even though you're not using your foot you are going to surge with your presser foot down so that your stitches are formed correctly. You're going to start by um, making a small amount of rolled edge chain. And you pull gently to the back as the rolled edge chain is forming in order to make a nice change for your beaded necklace. Next you're going to take the beads that you have strung on fishing line. I have about 12 beads that I've put on my 8 pound test fishing line. And you're going to start by introducing the fishing line into your search chain. You're going to start by raising your needle, placing your fishing line over the stitch pin or stitch finger that is located just to the right hand side of the needle. You want the fishing line to get caught in the chain um, that you're forming with the rolled hem but not get caught in the looper. And so then you're going to carefully take a stitch or two to make sure that rolled the fishing line is caught in the rolled hem. And then you're going to very carefully surge over that line, pulling gently to the back to help form your chain. You can also take and smooth out the chain and pull on it in case it doesn't completely, you know, it kind of bunches up on the chain. You can straighten that out. And then you're going to want to go ahead and surge maybe uh, 9 to 12 inches of chain before you start adding beads. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and add your first bead, smooth out that chain, make sure it's smooth on that fishing line. You're going to take okay. then and slide, you stop with your needle down, you're going to slide that first bead up close to the, and you're going to swing a loop back to the back like this. You're going to carefully going to raise that needle and then you're going to catch the fishing line over that stitch finger just to the right edge of the needle again, catching it in the, um, in the roll of the chain. You're going to surge about an inch and you're going to stop with your needle down. And then you're going to take your right hand and pull on that fishing line and pull all of that fishing line into the rolled hem chain. Then you're going to go ahead and give a gentle tug to the back and you're going to go ahead and grab another bead, slide it up the fishing line to get close to the needle and then you're going to take that left hand that's holding the bead and slide the bead back. You're going to make another loop here and you're going to again slowly lift that needle and catch that fishing line in the chain and go ahead and surge about another inch. Stop with your needle down, hold on, give your chain a little tug to smooth everything out and then you're going to slide that fishing line in and catch it in the rolled hem chain. I'm going to grab another bead. Once you get to the last bead, you would chain off with the fishing line about 10-12 you know, inches. And then you can go ahead and swing the fishing line to the left out of the way so that your chain then forms without fishing line for a few inches. And then go ahead and cut your chain. And look at that, you've created your first fishing line beaded necklace chain. Now you just need to make as many more of these as you want for your necklace and I will show you how to put them all together in my tutorial. Thank you for joining. Bye-bye.